What's good, boxing world? This is Ab, your host of All the Ropes. Got an exclusive today with Coach Calvin, Coach Kenny. What's good, man? Nothing much. What's happening, y'all? How y'all doing? Hey, Coach, I, I want to jump into it. Go back a couple of months. Uh, prior to going out to camp out in Vegas, you know, you, you were dealing with the health issues during that time. What was yep. it, uh, what was it like uh, first stepping off the plane out there in Vegas, knowing that things were already going during that time? Oh, man, it was like a hurt piece, to tell you the truth, because I was worried about our safety, not getting sick again. And then, you know, there was no research that people was getting sick until, like, after I was down there a little bit, then they start having cases that people that already had a, the um, corona was catching it again. So the main thing was, you know, trying to stay safe and trying to, you know, practice social distance. And then when we actually got in camp, I had a meeting with um, LB about how important it is that tank cannot get sick. And so that changed, the, you know, how we how we train and what we are doing. And actually, to tell you the truth, I think this thing is going to be the the new the new way of how we doing things until they get a vaccine for it. You know, I don't call it a pandemic. I call it a what's that word they use in the Bible um, when you got a plague. That's what this is. You with me? I'm because with they you. they didn't find a cure for this yet, and people still dying. You know. So it's like a play for real. I call it, I call it the rapture. Yeah, Kenny calls it the rapture. But it's the same thing. We're basically saying the same thing. It's stuff that was said in the Bible is actually happening right now, you know? Now, I, I got to ask, Coach, because uh, this time around, you didn't have the full team with you. You had Russ with you. And and this time around, you had, had uh, DeMond Nicholson, dad, Will. Right. How different was it for you to not have uh, Coach Kenny out there with you? Because, you know, the team had to split up due to, you know, fighters – having fights so close together. Well, it was, it felt funny, but you know, but Will worked with us all the time because we had his gym when we, um we had his gym when we trained here in Baltimore and worked with DeMond too. It just didn't feel, if it didn't feel the same because Kenny usually always with me and I'm always with Kenny, you know what I'm saying? Or all us always training together, you know? Um, you know, people was figuring like, you know, it was something wrong, no, but we had to make it work. We actually had to make, we got a lot of fighters. So when that people don't understand that uh, teams that's bigger than us or before us, you know what I'm saying? You got to make the adjustments. And we made the adjustments because we had the Rizzo fighting, we had Malik fighting, and we had Tank fighting. You know what I'm saying? Each one of their fights was very important, but Tank was the most important because it was pay per view. Malik fight was important because it was his first time getting back on point from his other um, incident with his health issue and whatnot. And then Trump was fighting uh, an undefeated guy. So all that fights was important, you know. But we made it work, you know. We did what it did. We, did, we made it do what it did, you know. And we keep moving. Now, now, Coach, you, you like to study the film. This time around, one of the things that I noticed you were working on in camp was uh, uh, hit to the ceiling is the expression. Yeah. <laughs> That's Kenny. That's my Bible. That's Kenny. Shoot, Shoot to, to the, the ceiling. ceiling. Shoot to the ceiling. Shoot to the ceiling. Anything in the way goes straight to it. <laughs> and um, he heard it, man. We've been working on it. And uh, Tank kept asking me in camp, hey, why are you running that same combination? Nigga, shut up and work. You know? So yeah, Because cause you like to put a game plan together. Like, um, and, and you don't like the fighters to really look at film of of of, uh, of the boxers because they never know what they're coming into the ring doing. So you right. put the uh, game plan together as far as what what did you see? What did y'all see to make make you say let's work on this uh, shoot to the ceiling? Well, um, Gamboa, I mean um, Santa Cruz, when he really really opened up on you, he comes in with his head. And a lot of fighters don't know this. So the fight that I really looked at that I thought was a good fight and that I thought was a skillful fight was um, Abu Mars and um, Santa Cruz. You know what I'm saying? It was some good points that was in that fight that I looked at and I was like, hmm. Then I went back and looked at the other fight when he was uh, fighting against the guy from over England. I think his name's uh, Kyle Frampton or Frampton, something like that. Paul Frampton? But, yeah, when he fought him, he was always leaning in with his head. I said, that's the shot we're going to get him with. Because when I looked at all access, I said, no, nah, they ain't going to have him fighting. They're going to have him fighting a different way. They're not going to let him stand in there and um, actually uh, stand toe to toe. So he had to change that up because 
He know Tank can punch. His dad know he can punch. I know Santa Cruz threw a lot of punches. That's his style of fighting. But damn, when he came out, he fought the same way. I was shocked. You know, I was really shocked. Like, okay, he's going to take it to Tank. And that's that's what Santa Cruz do. And I take my hat off. I salute him. I, I, got, I got mad respect for him. And if you listen to the conversation, Tank even had respect for him because he wasn't yah, yah, yah. He brought, he brought that seriousness to the game. Like, okay, we're going to get this in. You know what I'm saying? And he, we put on a good show for the fans on um, Trick or Treat. We put on a good show. It was a great show, you know, great show. You know, one of the things Lennon LB always talked about that, you know, Tank is definitely the A side. I think he's the cash cow from the 126 to the 135. And from what they're saying in, uh, in, with the pay per view numbers, he did great numbers as far as pay per view. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, like, again, his first time dealing, doing a pay per view in the pandemic. It was excellent. The crowd came on. They 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 only lot of us um eleven and he got nine to come out. So that was that was fantastic. And I um, when we look at it at the end of the day, everybody somehow woo 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 why fight me, do this. Y'all ain't putting asses in the seat, man. We ain't thinking about you. That's just real talk. You know what I'm saying? Cause at the bottom of the line, if anybody get hurt, they can't perform no more in life, they gotta make sure they compensated for that fight. And that's real talk. Let's live it. That's a God for Bill that uh, Santa Cruz is in good shape. Everything is healthy. Let's say they said that man couldn't continue his career. Yeah, you're he right about that. You're right about that, coach. <laughs> so they don't look at the bigger picture and whatnot. And some of them are always say, oh, I want to fight Tank because I want to make more money. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I get it. But they don't understand it's more than just fighting. It's a business behind this thing. Well, I'm gonna ask about that later, but I'm, I'm gonna come back to to the whole situation. A lot of people talk about is is the 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 relationship uh, with you dealing with uh, Floyd and the whole training. How was that process with you all combining what you were doing together? Um, like I said again, Floyd been what I haven't been at. He been in that ring, twelve rounds, fight for championships over and over and over. I'd be a fool not to listen to him. You know what I'm saying? But then I've been with Floyd, ain't been. I raised him from scratch. You get it? So right. it's an easy claim. So when Floyd trying to get his message to him and we're in the heat of a fight, it's my job to remember what Floyd tell us so I can make it work inside the fight because he might see something I'm not understanding at that particular time. But I know Youngin. Youngin going to show up when it's time to show up. We've been doing this since the amateurs. You with me? That's why right. when you see him took that picture with me and Kenny, you see all the belts behind him. He's been in these situations with good fighters before. Did, did y'all ever butt heads in camp about the philosophy or what you wanted to do in the fight? No, nah, we ain't never, we ain't never do that. I mean, you know, uh, I'm in Floyd House, and uh, Kenny always tell me, always keep your cup empty. Kenny always tell me, they always keep your cup. It's stuff. It's always room to learn some things, and that's what's been working for us. Okay, okay. Now, 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 Coach Kenny, what's up? I, I got to ask, man, how, how was it, man, when you uh, got out there for fight week? It was beautiful, man. That's one of the uh, best camps uh, I've experienced, you know, this far. It was great. Now, you know, this time, uh, this time around in the locker room, Coach, I, I noticed you didn't wrap his hands. You know, that's an intimate moment when y'all two, you know, come together with the wrapping of the hands. What, what made you not wrap his hands this time around? Well, Bob taught me how to rap, and Bob is the best in the game to tell you the truth. And Bob rapped Floyd hands. You know what I'm saying? When I first see, everybody don't understand the history behind me and Bob. But I when Tank first signed with Mayweather for the promotion before the old man died. Y'all with me? Floyd was getting his hands wrapped by the old man. And I asked Floyd, can I can I watch? So the old man was showing me. When the old man passed away, right, Bob came and was rapping Floyd hands. So if Floyd asked Bob the rats to wrap his hand, that's something major right there. You get it? Correct. Because Floyd back in the days would let anyone touch his hands. You get it? So in that process, Bob was showing me a little bit of tricks. When I came back, Kenny said, damn, I see your hand wrap game stepped up. You with me? I'm with so you. When Bob came in, Bob wrapped truck hands. If you go back and look at the last fight, truck hands. I let Bob wrap um, truck hands because I'm still learning. You get what I'm saying? I'm learning the tricks of the trade. Bob wrapped everybody hand in Vegas when big fights are down there. People don't know that. So if you got the best wrapping hands and you want to learn some new tricks, watch them. You get what I'm saying? 
That's like if if Stitch, if I was around Stitch, I would watch Stitch what he doing. Because they, they are on the levels that I haven't reached yet. You, you know, with that being said, Coach, was that one of the reasons why, because Tank has someone new wrapping his hands and not you, that it, it felt uncomfortable and he wanted to switch out the gloves? That is true, because with Grant gloves, when I wrapped his hands, we got the molding fixed of the way I wrapped his hands for his gloves. But Bob wrapped his hands, they didn't feel right at the particular time when he put the Grant gloves on. You with me? And we didn't break no rules or anything. They can't say who can wrap his hand, who can't wrap. It's the uh, Santa Cruz coach was in there watching Bob wrap hands. You know what I'm saying? The, the commission was watching Bob wrap hands. The difference is because I didn't wrap his hand, the gloves didn't fit the, cert the same way they would have fit according to the mold that they did the Grant gloves with. with it. For the coaches that understand, when you get Grant gloves or your painful gloves, you get your hands wrapped so the molding – of the gloves that you the hand wraps would fit the gloves that you're going to be wearing all the time. But this time Bob wrapped his hand and it was just loose and the gloves was loose in his hand. You know, with that being said, I think people don't realize that Grant gloves are the puncher's gloves. And thank God that he didn't have those gloves on that night because it could have been some serious injuries. That is true because dumb gloves, they really padded. You get what I'm saying? Um, uh, um, they like they like um ray ass glass. I call it the black version of the ray ass. <laughs> That's what I call grant gloves because all the <laughs> all the brothers be wearing the grant gloves. Um, but um, tank like um the uh, winter gloves too because that's what we spawn a lot. If you look at majority of the main fighters, they wearing what winter. You know what I'm saying, yeah. and they protect your hands. You know what I'm saying. They not punch his gloves. So if tank would have had the grant gloves on, well, it probably wouldn't have looked the way it looked. You know, correct. Because if you look at the shots his tanks was throwing, he was hitting them with shots. You could actually see when he was hitting them. You know, you could see it. Yeah, I, I hear you on that, coach. I, I, I got to ask you this, coach. Have you had a chance to look at the uh, uh, the fight again? Man, I watched it three times. I probably watched it. You, well, I, this is what I did. I went back and watched um 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 Tank and um um his first championship. I'm at. Uh, what's his name? But uh, uh, I went back and watched that fight, though. That was that fight was was good. You know what I'm saying? And I went back and watched that fight. You know what I'm saying? That was that fight was going back and forth, forth and back. You know what I'm saying? And looked at the results that Tank did. Same thing with Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz come out, whoop, whoop, they going back and forth. They have both of them having good moments. Then when Tank came over there to me and Kenny and told us, yo. He about to go. He told us, didn't he get it? Fifth round, he said he breaking down. Yeah, he breaking told down. us he about to go. And then that was it. The next round, it clipped, it clipped him. Would you say those body shots were really good in the Santa Cruz? Yes, you can yeah, say that. They, but, they were, those, them body shots. But again, long time. but again, if you go back and look at the fight, and when man Tank was hitting them with shots, man, he was hitting them with shots, jabs, hooks. He was coming. I mean, he was he was really hitting. But that body shot, the first body shot when the judge, when the referee said he hit him low, that was a good shot. Go look at it. It was a it was a legal shot. You know what I'm saying? And I, if you if you hear that, which guy, I told Tank go right back to the body. You hear what I'm saying? Because he didn't like it, but he didn't know what he was going to protect the body or the head. You know. Now, now I was listening to different boxing critics like uh, Max Kellerman saying how exciting uh, Tank is as a fighter, but he was taking too many shots. Do you do do you agree or disagree with that? What fighter you know didn't get hit in a fight? Exactly. Have a fight. Exactly. What fight? Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Tell me, you know a fighter don't get hit in a real fight? You won't get hit somewhere. And a, with, with, with a four-time champion, you, you get what I'm saying? Exactly. He's been champion for nine years. How you not going to get hit against him, you know? And, All my and, way and out of his, what, 25 fights, 24 have hit the ground. Exactly. KO. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, again, I don't know no fighter in the history you know, that don't, doesn't get tested. He got the right, like Kenny say, he got the right of hitting you too because he trained. He trained just as he hard. He trained just as hard as you. He got the right. He got the right to win if he can. You know? That's what people forget. Yeah, so, you know, when you talk about everybody, it's, 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 it's everybody always criticizing, criticizing, but again, when a person is in that ring, taking the punches, getting hit, that's like when uh, we talk about... um. Uh, uh, Romachenko and um, what's his name? Why he started it? 
It, it could have been the punches he was getting hit with, and he said, I ain't ready to go in there yet. You get what I'm saying? He thought he was going to gas no pads out. Yeah, you know? right. So we don't know what was going on in his mind in that fight. You with me? I'm and with that's you. the results that he got from what he was thinking. You know, uh, an another uh, one of the discussions people were talking about, it was Tank moving everything out to Vegas. Have you heard anything from Tank about that? Well, if y'all listen to this again, when Tank and Floyd was fussing, and I said, I said, man, I'm too go through it all the time. Whatever Tank going to do, we going to do. As simple as that. You know, sometimes, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. We're going to do this. No, nah, I'm not going to. We're going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he going to do to make it comfortable for him, that's what we're going to do. You know, you, one of the things you always say, if it don't make dollars, it, it don't make sense. I say that all the time. That's my stand. And, and, and you said once the contract comes across, you just get ready for that fight. Now, well, you've been hearing a lot of call-outs for Tank lately. You've been hearing the, the Ryan Garcia's. You've been hearing the Devin Haney's. What, what is your thoughts on that? Listen, this I this I do it. Alan Floyd, they take care of that situation. Once the contract comes past our desk, it's a hit. That's what we're getting ready for. You hear what I just said? I hear you. Once the contract comes past our desk, it's a hit. Oh, that's oh. At the end of the day, the contracts don't lie. The contract they signed with the promoter and the, and the um, manager, you know what I'm saying? They got to go by that. The contract for the fight, we got to go by that. Who would you like to see, though, personally, though, next? I don't get into that because, you know, you got a lot of great fighters um, in 35 and at 30. You with me? It's just which one that's going to make the right dollar sense at the end of the day. You get what I'm saying? And see, um, that's, the one, that's the one thing that people don't know realize about Tank. is He don't call anybody out. So once, no. once, once you step out there, be prepared to fight. Right. That's it. That's I mean, that's how it is. That's like when somebody in the street hits you in your mouth. You ain't got time to do all that. That nigga came to fight. You, you with me? I'm with you. So that's how we carry. You know, all that talking and all that stuff. I don't even pay attention. Man, I've been in, I've been in the joint. We don't do a lot of talking. If you want to bring the noise, bring the noise. You get what I'm saying? But if it's just talk, man, okay, you got the right to do that because God gave you the, the, the breath and the, the vocals to talk. I don't even pay attention to that. You know? Man, I've been in, I've been in the joint. We don't do a lot of talking. If you want to bring the noise, bring the noise. You get what I'm saying? But if it's just talk, man, okay, you got the right to do that because God gave you the, 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 the breath and the, the vocals to talk. I don't even pay attention to that, you know? Hey, Coach Kitty, I got to ask you, man. A lot of people are, are in my comments section always ask about Mia. When is Mia fighting again? Um, she was supposed to fight on uh, Tank last car, but her opponent pulled out. So we're looking at a date, early, early spring, January, February, you know. How, how frustrating and how hard is it for Mia right now to, to get opponents to get in the ring with her? It's getting better, but... Um, at the beginning, it, it was hard, but now we're making the connections where we can make it happen, you know? So, 2021, look forward to seeing her at least every other month. Okay, that's good to see. Month. That's good to see. I can let people in my comments know, because, man, yeah. you know, her videos like, damn, near 200,000. Yeah, yeah. And I always look at the comments, they're like, when is Mia fighting again? When is Mia fighting again? It's coming real soon. Tell them, tell them stay, you know, stay tuned. We coming. Now, hey, Coach, now, now, now your favorite younger man that you love so much, Jaleel, didn't get a chance to be with you out in Vegas. He was actually with our Coach Kitty this time around. What's your, what's your thoughts on young Jaleel? Well, the Jaleel going to do what he's supposed to do. He's going to make it do what it do. Um, right now, it's just everybody don't understand, man. This pandemic, man, it's, it's, it's changing the course of boxing. It's changing the course of people's lives. It's changing the course of everything. Um a lot of things that we want to do, we can't do because of the simple fact you can't do it. The 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 the, the, the governor and the mayors, they trying to make sure we do the social distance. Because look at the numbers, it's going back up. Um, people talk about it was going to kill the the, the virus was going to go away in, in the hot months. It's getting cold, flu season coming. Man, it's supposed to get crazy, you know. So we don't know where boxing going to be at. You know what I'm saying? Um, they trying to keep the economy open to let people do business, but you know. Promoters can't do business when they can't get the crowd that they're looking for. Correct. 
You know, you know what's funny too, Coach? Because I remember one time on Twitter, man, I, I saw Tate talking about it. He said, man, before you even bring up me, man, you better, you, you got to get through my young lions first. Yeah, we got a lot of them, man. It's a lot of them that they don't understand that we got a certain weight class. They got some of them got to get their numbers up. And I believe some of them can beat some of the top guys, guys that's in position there, to tell you the truth. So, oh, oh, you know, speaking of one of them, um, uh, also uh, besides Lil, uh, young Stacy. I think Stacy's about to turn pro also as well. Yeah, Stacy's going to turn pro first of the year. We um, um, setting up everything now, getting everything ready for him to make his move. So he'll have his first fight. Pretty soon, the first of the year, he's, he's just getting out the gate. Oh, first out the gate? Yep, first, first of the year. January, sometime in January, he should be having his first pro fight. Now, now, Coach, when do you expect to see uh, Tank back in the ring? Do you actually see him back in the rings around single de Mayo time? Again, that's not my call. It's just when they give that information to him, he give that information to me, we set up what we're going to do, and we run from there. Oh, you know, while I got you on, Coach, man, one of the things that uh, besides uh, training, you also have a foundation, Rise. Uh, speak on that. Well, Rise is to help the kids to actually get you different events to help the community, to really help kids with trauma that they're going through in the city of Baltimore and everywhere. Sometimes when the kids are with us, it's from different parents and different neighborhoods um, and whatnot. Um they go through a lot of stuff that we don't get to see until we get to know them. So right now we're just trying to put this foundation together to actually help them through any, anything, just not the sports part, but the trauma that they go through in and out of life in, um, in Baltimore. Uh, you know, with that being said, have you, uh, had it got, I know you always keep in contact with uh, your kids since Upton is closed. What have they been saying to you? Well, they want, want the gym back open. That's the most important thing, and that's what we're working on, trying to get the gym back open, first and foremost, because um, they running all over the place. Some of them are in the gym, out the gym. You know, Hunt doing the best that he can, trying to keep them, you know, activated. But it's just how far that they have to go to get to the gym where he at, you know. And then we have two other gyms that we go to, but the distance from here to there, you know, some of the kids can't make it, you know, and I, I – I wait on the free, but I ain't got a big vehicle right now at this point to take all of them to where I'm going at. And then now this pandemic is in there, they cut the the, the, the the people down on how many people that you can actually have, have in the gym. So, you know, we're trying to figure out how to make it work. I came up with a plan. I just hope that the governor, the mayor, and the heads to be to sit there and say, okay, Calvin, let's make it work so we keep these kids active and giving them something to do. Uh, you know, with that being said, Coach, one of the comments that I get all the time is they, they ask about the gym in Fredericksburg, Maryland. Mm -hmm. Talk talk about that and the relationship that you have with that gym because uh, a lot of uh, work is getting done out of that gym while Upton is closed down. Yeah, Turner, man, I give it, I, hey, man, I have mad respect. He's a native from D.C., Army man, you know, up there in the mountains, right? I mean, beautiful gym, beautiful gym, man. He opened up his gym so we can come up there and actually um, do what we do. Um, Tank came up there and trained, man. He was very amazed with the gym. Kenny did, did Kenny did camp up there with Malik Hawkins, Malik Warren, Jalil. I looked at Malik's body. His body looked like a skeleton with muscles. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He looked it right. So, you know, and then when, before Tank made the decision to go there to Vegas, you know, that's where I wanted to train it because it was easy for me to deal with the uh, procedures of keeping the gym cleaner, you know what I'm saying? Because everything was brand new, you know? And um, Malik, he looked good. He looked good, man. Physically, he looked real good, man. You know, I, 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 I tipped my hat to Zoe and Kenny, man, as far as physically having them uh, ready going into that fight and whatnot, you know? Yeah, exactly, Coach. You know, speaking of that, out, out, out in Vegas where you were talking about trying to keep – Keep it to where you know it's maintained. How do you maintain when it's 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 tank, it's Floyd's jail, keeping the people safe during that time? Well, Floyd and Leonard Len Len B told me I was the boss. They sit me down and told me that. Floyd came in and told me that when when uh spine day, it was Floyd's day. You get what I'm saying? Um, when training day, it was my day, and that's how it worked. That's how it actually worked. You know, um. And then my team, Mr. Will, uh, uh, Russ, 
and uh, Mayweather crew. I mean, I, I tip my hat to Mayweather team. It, all his coaching staff was at my spoke. You know what I'm saying? They made sure we had everything there. The gym was clean. Everything was great. I mean, and that was a good partnership between Baltimore and Vegas. You know what I'm saying? It, it was the way how we worked. You thought we was from Vegas. The way how we came and they had everything laid out the way I asked them to have it laid out. And um, and they just did what they posted. They had the, the, the gym at the right temperature. Mr. Bosey, man, was my 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 third eye. He used to sit out the ring when I when I got finished training. When he got finished spawn, he used to wink at me, did like this, give me thumbs up. So it was um, it was hey, sh man, I had a goddamn machine down there. You know what I'm saying? I had a machine down there, and you don't know how. Oh uh, man, it was it was it was unbelievable. I thought I was like. I thought I was like Floyd and his dad when they was getting ready doing the all access when Floyd was fighting. That's how tense it was. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you know how when you're young and you watch them doing that thing, man, you end the miss doing it the same way? Crazy, man. Uh, you know, it's, you know, speaking of the all access, right? You know, a lot of people were commenting how Tank really didn't talk that much. But for people, to, to explain to people, man, that Tank is the type of person, man, he has to know you to really open up. Yeah, if like, he don't know, like, he ain't talking to you. <laughs> That's real talk. Sometimes he don't talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he don't talk to us. But we know Tank. Tank, that's just how Tank is. And a like, lot of people say that, but when they get to know him, they say, man, Tank cool is all outdoors. He is, man. It's like That's why I try to explain to people. Once he get to know you, he, he cool, he funny. Like, yeah, you don't he, see that side because... Uh, funny. I mean, Tank crazy. He funny. Like the joke, like the play, you know? Talk shit to you. You know, sometimes you be looking at Tank like, okay, and you can tell when he have his good moves and he have his bad moves. He only heard me. Hey, man, he really loved that photo book, too, man. Yeah, that was nice, man. He was very impressed. Got you. He got you to sign it. <laughs> yeah, he got you to sign it. Instead of he signing it, you, he got you to sign it. Yeah, man. That was a good moment, man. I mean, that whole whole thing, man. It was I I, I looked at that situation was like it was like uh watching what it was 24-7, where we was just all access. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know, remember 24-7? I remember that. That's how I felt. That's how I felt. That's how exactly felt. It felt just like twenty four seven. It's a, man. Yep. It's it's nowhere to go but up from here. Now, once you go pay per view, you you like you can't yeah. go backwards from there, right? That, that is true. So we're just figuring out what's the next move, you know. But everything is going to be based off this pandemic, man. This pandemic don't get we don't get control of it, man. It's going it's it's, it's going to get worse. We're gonna think we're in, um somewhere over Middle East or somewhere in another country. Now I I. I you know, people gonna get banned for all eggs, bro. So I got, I got to eggs. I hate the evil eggs. Like your thoughts when you had made the comment about Gamboa being fat and Bill didn't like it too much. That was the truth. I mean, I, I mean, you can look at that man. Go back and look at Tank fight and look at Gamboa. Then look at that fight he just fought. He didn't even prepare for that fight. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, th I'm thinking. You know, I understand the strategy that they had. Go put him in with Gamboa and see what he do. Didn't happen like that. Matter of fact, Gam Balls was like, man, I'm not even gonna train for this fight. I'm just gonna just get ready for the week. And that's what it actually looked like. To tell you the truth, you know, and I know that coaches know that. You know what I'm saying? You can tell when the fight is real serious about a fight. You can tell. Yeah, I think I was I was looking at the different comments uh on, on that on that particular video. People were saying that uh, he was out of shape. He was out of shape. That's self-explanatory. I was upset because he was out of shape. That's disrespectful. You get what I'm saying? He's that's disrespectful. Like, oh, I ain't got to train for this kid. That's what I look at. You get what I'm saying? No, and I you, know that. Fighters, you have fighters does that. Am I right around, Kenny? All the time. All the time, but people don't want to tell the truth about it. They say, oh man, he ain't like that. I ain't got to really work for him. I'm gonna work. I ain't gonna really work. You get what I'm saying? No, I hear you on that, coach. No, hey, I'm keeping it real. Coaches that really know the real truth, they'll tell it. It, it. It's just like that sometimes. You know when your fight is serious about a fight. You'll know it. Now, now I got to ask, Coach, because you, like you said, uh, with uh, uh, Truck having this fight out Vegas, what's what's next for Truck? Because he's now at that point now. He's ready for the, for the next step. We got one more fight. We got oh. one more fight. Then he'll be 10. We're trying to get to that 10 and 0. That's the, that's the pinnacle. Then he moves to the next level. So right now, we're just waiting on that, that contract to come across the table, then it's a hit. 
we keep them fit, we keep them strong, you know, keep them in the gym. You know, right now I just want them to enjoy itself and we're gonna figure out what we gotta do. Right now, I'm just focusing on getting this house open right now. That's what I'm trying to do. Get this house open. Because I don't know we'll be able to travel around. The way they talk about it, they don't want people coming to uh, coming to uh traveling country. You, you get what I'm saying? They get serious with this. Yeah, because I think uh Governor uh Hogan uh, actually took it back to phase one again. Yeah, but then if when Governor Hogan says something, um Jack was really lock it down. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, so man, I don't know. We got we got we got to have a new man come in. So you don't know. People want to do things the way they do things. So I got to see what's going to happen. But I'm just hoping that I can keep the gym open and keep the kids safe and um, be able to still do what we do, you know? Hey, man, once again, man, I truly appreciate y'all coming on. How I, I, I feel, man, to be back together in Baltimore? Because both of y'all were out of town for a few months, man. Oh, man, 90 days or more. Hey, that's just like being in jail for 90 days. Just give you 90 days. <laughs> <laughs> Just gave us 90 days. Oh, man. Have, I, only way we can get out is on good conduct. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, man. I, I truly appreciate it as always, Coach. Thank you, man. All right, man. Y'all have a good one, man. Be easy. You too. All right, you too.